Good morning, Miss Baker's class. I miss you. All right, so this is week five, the very last day to do week five assignments. So I want you to make sure you've completed those and turn them in to me um, by checking that green check mark on your seesaw activities, okay? And since it's the last day of week five, I have two eggs that we need to hatch to see what's inside because earlier in week five, we hatched one egg and it had a snake and we hatched another egg and it had a sea turtle. So today we need to see what the other two eggs have inside. But before we can do that, we have to do our calendar time. So you have to join me on calendar time. Are you ready for that? Okay, why don't you stand up and sing with me today, okay? Here we go, the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Come on, let's try. All right, tell me, what month is it? I looked at you when I said the month. What month did I say? April, good. April starts with an A. It has a long A sound saying its name, April. Now, April showers bring May flowers. I remember that poem. So can you tell me, have you had any April showers at your house this week? Not showers in the tub, silly. Showers outside like rain. You have? We had so much rain here. There were, there were puddles and mud everywhere. And two little boys in my house may or may not have gotten in their rain boots and caked them with mud. They enjoy playing out in the puddles in the mud. All right, so the month is April, and today is the 20th. So you have to count to 20 with me, okay? Now you're pre-Kers, so I know you can count at least to 30, right? But we're gonna only count to 20 because it's the 20th day of the month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. So the day is the 20th and the year is 2020, which is 2020. Wow, today has a lot of 20s. April 20th, 2020. Wow. All right. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday, and tomorrow will be Tuesday. And remember, Tuesdays are when we get our new assignments. It's a little different than when you're in school. We get our assignments on Mondays. The weather today is, why don't you go check? Go check what the weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? All right, come on back. What's the weather? At your house too? It's cloudy at my house. But I heard, where's my cloudy? There it is, cloudy. There's just a cloud, no sun. I heard that later on this, this afternoon, maybe between at about two o'clock, it's gonna get sunny. The season is still spring and it's about 69 degrees outside and it's going to get warmer. So I would say it is warm. The temperature is warm. I can wear shirts, t-shirts and shorts. Today I'm wearing one of my China spring shirts and it is what color? B-L-U-E spells blue, B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi-ho, did you know B-L-U-E spells blue? Good. And my pants are black. And I feel happy. I feel happy. All right. Remember this week, you've been reviewing letters T, U, and V. T says T like turtle. U says uh like umbrella or U like unicorn. V says V like volcano. Now, starting tomorrow, we're gonna start a new letter, W. So if you can 
talk to mom and dad and see if they can show you what a W is and see if you see any W's on anything around your house before tomorrow. That would be great practice with that letter. All right, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna show you one card today and this card is a what's happening card. So I'm gonna show it to you. And I want you to tell me what you think is happening in this picture. Who are the baby ducks following? Where might they be going? When I look at this picture, I see a, what I think is a mama duck. She has a little bit of blue on her feathers. Isn't that pretty? And I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ducklings following her. And when I look at this picture, I think about how these ducklings have hatched from eggs and they are now little babies and they are following their mom to learn how to swim and to learn how to walk and find food and so that's what I think is happening in this picture but I am excited to hear what you think is happening in that picture remember these activities help us to remember to use our picture clues when we read stories they help us to try to figure things out without having to be told exactly what's happening so they are great tools for for beginner readers i can't wait to see how much um, picture clues you learn to use so that when you start kindergarten you start using your picture clues to read and then by the end of kindergarten you're going to be a great reader i can't wait it's going to be crazy to see y'all as big kindergartners next year all right we have two eggs and i need to hatch on this oh i should be gentle i don't want to crack it hmm let's see this egg i don't feel a lot of movement but let's see what's inside okay we've had a turtle a sea turtle in one and a snake in one Ooh, and that snake scared me do you remember let's see what this one is oh man oh is he ready to crack oh my goodness this one is scarier than the snake what do you think it is i'll give you a hint i think i told you earlier this week that my father-in-law had one of these on his front porch this week what was it an alligator oh my goodness yes alligators ah! alligators hatch from eggs you want to see alligators hatch from eggs i wonder if you knew that yes they do and they start off pretty small themselves not as tiny as that one but they start off small and they grow to be very large and last, yesterday i saw a video and saw that alligators some alligators can even climb fences that's just crazy to me all right this one is our last egg so since it's the last one i'm going to review what we've had we've had a sea turtle a snake and an alligator so what do you think is in the last egg a chick someone guessed a penguin again okay a baby bird let's see Oh, speaking of baby birds, did y'all get that video of the two baby birds that were hungry with their mouth wide open? That was from a friend of mine and they sent it so that we could, um, we could see baby birds, like real ones that were in her yard. Isn't that awesome? All right. Oh, this one's so sweet. It's a duck, kind of like the picture we just saw on our What's Happening card. Quack, quack, quack ducks hatch from eggs as well so there are so many different animals that hatch from eggs maybe you found some in your yard because we know that insects hatch from eggs we talked about those last week we know that birds of all kinds hatch from eggs and things like frogs and um, alligators and hmm, snakes they all hatch from eggs we have all kinds of things that hatch from eggs um, I found an animal that does not hatch from an egg at our house yesterday. You want to hear what it is? An armadillo. 
let me tell you, my dogs were barking, 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 barking. And when we went outside, we found that there was an armadillo that it was burrowing, like digging itself down into the ground, trying to get under our house. He was strong. When he dig, dig himself into the dirt, he would clamp on and he wouldn't want you to pull him out. And so that was crazy. We have a lot of armadillos around here. We have possums and armadillos and raccoons and skunks, but those things don't hatch from eggs, do they? All right, friends, I loved having you here today. Um, I will be back with you for a morning meeting tomorrow, and we will start a new letter, letter W, and we're going to talk about plants. So come join me tomorrow. I cannot wait. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.